It feels like I haven't seen you today. I know. <laughs> it's all too much. And anyway, I welcome everyone. Today. I know, but welcome everyone to a new vlog. Because I've just uploaded the last one. And never guess what, Lee? So I've just uploaded the last one. I've sat here watching a F1 qualifying and a bit of, I don't know, F2, whatever the bollocksy thing is, sprinty bollocks anyway. But anyway, I digress. So I thought I'd have a quick look at YouTube, see if anyone's commented. And the first two comments, have a guess what they are. Cox and Fannies. Splendid. Porn. Splendid. What on earth is going on? We're getting a lot of porn comments on our... Well, they're not comments, are they? They're just trying to produce... Just they're just trying to um, promote their... Um, penis stuff either that or they just see that they've got a captive audience because they know we're all cocks <laughs> <laughs> anyone who watches this likes porn <laughs> anyway so what you been up to darling sorry i interrupted you working today i know he's working this morning oh. he's in um, that place where you have to hurry up to weren't you rushton yeah but you have earthling borough though weren't you yes is that rushton it's near Rushton. So it's not Rushton. I can't no. hear you because you're not talking loud enough. Oh, sorry, it's near Rushton. Is it? So you didn't go to Rushton? No. You went to Earthingborough? <laughs> but it's easier to say Rushton because it's near there. What? Can you not manage more than two syllables? No. <laughs> and then you've been, <laughs> been over to Sue's for... Tea at two. Tea o'clock. But it was tea at 3.15 because I was working. <laughs> and that's it really. That's all I have it's to really report. Splendid. Anything you've got to report darling? No, what are we going to have for dinner? Well, that's nothing to report. That's just it's a not question. really, is it? And that's we, always a contentious we question. Have that <laughs> if I had a real choice, mm, probably a beef naga. Um, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> so I don't know why you asked me. Anyway, that's it now. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Hmm? What are you doing? Just writing down my takings for my account. You like drawing little graphs and things, don't you? <laughs> See, she does, honestly. Oh, Mum, Sam said I made a mistake. Oh, no, you need, some, you need some dip ex, dip ex it out. No. And this looks like there's some sort of weird stain on that sheet. Is it moist? It's a bit of wine. <laughs> well, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> she is a bit of a weirdo. Lee loves lists and things, don't you? I like a list. You do? Is that what I like, Lee? Beer. <laughs> oh, where is it? Oh, you can't see. Oh, there you go. So I like these big girl. pint thingies of beer. Pint thingies. Yep. Bye. You should drink pints of wine. Well, i get your pint of wine if you like, darling. We could get a special... Well, not being funny, your wine glasses must hold close to a pint. Didn't we measure it once? No, I think that was the one it wasn't as high. large as we thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke there. <laughs> I think it's only about 300 mil, so yeah. Oh no, that's shit. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, Lee, right, be oh, really God. honest. Mm -hmm. How was that? Terrible. Was it? <laughs> it was really nice, wasn't it? Was Seriously, nice. right? No we shit. Have a kitchen, well. How many people do you think in the whole world, right? It's had a beef madras pie. rice and Bombay <laughs> potato pie. Only us, dear. I'm telling you, there won't be many, will there? So we're really quite um, unique. <laughs> That's one word for it. I'll tell you. I know we've done a few cooking things in here, which is a bit weird <laughs> lately. The uh, latest free vlogs, I think we've done monkey pox bollocks. But you've got to admit... That's not a bad idea, is it? Mm. You've got to have a go at that. Mm. See, it's worth buying a monkey pox. It's 30 odd quid. It's worth mm. buying that. Just, your mum did. Yeah, my mum did. My mum watched a video of me making the other pie when I might have been a little bit tipsy. And she said, we sold it to her and she's ordered one. So I can't wait to see what she does on it. <laughs> I need to have a little burp. Oh, tickle. Asian persuasion. Oh, I'm still scruffy. Mm, so you enjoy that then, yeah? That's grim. Bye. It was very lovely, thank you. It was good. It was good, honestly. you got to get a ridge monkey. <laughs> but you got, how much was that, do you reckon? I'm sorry, but that um, pastry was bollocks because it fell apart. Because how much that, that was one fifty, but how much is it? How much is it in Aldi? Ninety five p. Ninety five p. So sorry, Brian Flanagan again. We said one pound twenty five because we cheated and looked at a different website, but she actually paid how much? Ninety five p. Ninety five p. So ninety five p. Yeah, Asda is one twenty five. Aldi is ninety five p. And then 
Sainsbury's is one. So, okay, let, let's do it on the cheapest thing. So, 95p for that. How much was the um, Madras thingy? I don't know. I, well, I know. They're about one pound eighty. Right, and then the rice, I think you get a double version of that for a pound. Mm. So, and then the Bombay potatoes, I guess, are a pound. So, let's say that, that pie at the most cost a fiver. It didn't. Let's say, <laughs> let's say four quid that cost again. So, two pound each. And that was a magnificent meal. Magnificent. And I'm proper hung, not hungry. Phil, bye. That's it, is it? Phil, not Phil. I love Phil. Do you like to feel moist? <laughs> I used to work for a bloke called Phil Moist. And I'm not even joking now, right? I did business cards for a bloke called Mike Hunt and he worked for Blue Arrow. <laughs> Say that quickly. <laughs> Mike Hunt. Bye! <laughs> Hector's ratting. See him off. Rat! <laughs> Get him. It's a lovely hot cup of tea. Mm. Indeed. Could go a few biscuits as well. Night night. <laughs> night night. Hector's just jumped in the bush again, isn't he? He has. Mm. <laughs>we've been out for a walk and we videoed that already so that'll come next but just wanted to do a little explainer because um yesterday i did quite a bit of filming but it all seemed to be about us cooking a pie <laughs> so we're going to do the cooking one separate rather than not part of the vlog because there'll be people who want to watch that just the cooking stuff and don't want all our bollocks around it that's true though isn't it so um like we do our, <laughs> i'll tell you like we do our bushcraft thing every now and again and we've got to do another one and i've still got to make the charcoal off but anyway, I digress. Yeah, as we do the bushcraft ones separately, and um, then we'll do the cooking ones separately as well, because I'm quite enjoying this outdoor cooking nonsense. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, because I do it all. But they will be clearly marked, so it will say like Ridge Monkey Cooking or you know, whatever. So at least you know it's not the vlog. I think that's the best way to go. So um, let's get on with the vlog. Bye. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, isn't it, Lee? It's 9:11. We actually saw 9:11 at 9 11 o'clock and 11 seconds because it just looked good on my watch didn't it, it did. we nearly missed it we did because the, the light went out <laughs> bye <laughs> oh Hector come this side you're such a pest you nearly tripped me over <laughs> it's artistic shooting that was bye quite a bit of wood up here at the moment because they're um, redoing the pontoons. This is a big stack over there and some here because they're getting a bit rotten, a few of them. As you can see they've got a couple over there. They're quite nice slabs of wood, they are. We could make <laughs> shit out of them, Lee. We could make a, a, what do you call it, a gondola. A gondola for our naughty bench. A gondola? A I pagoda. A pagoda. Well, I knew it was foreign. Yeah. Or is, is that female or male? <laughs> hey, he likes to walk around here. Oh, shall I cook some tea outside? Oh, yes, Or cook a cup of tea or whatever you do with it. Boil some water. Cook some water. Yeah. We'll have a Sunday morning naughty bench cup of tea, I say. <laughs> it's F1 today. That's the only sport okay. that's on. <laughs> Goes the day boat. Going out for the day, believe it or not. <laughs> right then, I've got a little confession to make. A couple of vlogs ago, maybe three vlogs ago, I was talking about the cheap Trangia little stove thing that I bought with a little stand. 
because it was just as cheap to buy that to get the stand as it was to buy a stand on its own pretty much so that's why I did that and I said it was a load of old shit and don't buy cheap shit that's what I said but it was me I made a mistake so I'm, I take that back and, and I'm going to put the link to this little stove and the little holder thing for it um, and say yes you should buy it. it's about 13 odd quid that's all which is unbelievable I think it was only 13 13 or 15 quid but anyway what had happened is when I lit it I hadn't given it time to wick and to bloom as they call it and I got fed up with it and turned it off because I knew the other one worked and then um, yesterday when we was doing the other video I actually lit it and it worked properly because I let it go for a little while and then it did bloom and it's actually a really good little stove so there's no need to pay shit loads of money for these things I think that's a really really good deal so uh, as I say put the link below pick yourself up one just put a bit of ethanol in it or bioethanol stuff or a bit of meths and cook bye just so you know the little stove I'm talking about and stand so you get all that and a little case for it or a little you know fabric case that it goes in and it was 12.99 I just looked it up you can't beat that can you 12.99 what can you buy for 12.99 these days oh and just one more thing you should really get yourself one of these wind guards as well again I'll put the link for that below and all because that was 12.99 as well believe it or not but that saves you so much fuel and it lets it burn it you know burn without a load of wind so it makes it quicker to cook so there you go bye it's a funny looking thing isn't it don't cut my sleeve <laughs> Right, then everybody, as we've been having a bit of an outdoor cooking theme over the last couple of vlogs, I'm going to try and do some chops, pork chops, some potatoes, which I'm going to end up frying in the end, on a gas stove and a trangia. And I'll be adding some spice and nonsense to this, and then we'll try and bung some beans on at the end. Now, I've got no idea what I'm doing, and that's honest to God. Honest to God, I've got no idea what I'm doing. But I reckon that... These will take the longest, right, your potatoes. They can be put on nuclear so they can be cooked quick and then the beans in the end. What do you reckon? Obviously a bit of spice in it. Let's see how this goes by. Right then, now I've got the potatoes on to boil. I'm going to add a bit of all-purpose seasoning to the chops and a bit of cayenne pepper. We'll see what happens. It's a bit hard to do with one hand, but we'll see what happens. Sorry, oh, Daisy. So this isn't easy with one hand. That'll probably do for that side. Then I'll flip it over and do the same on the other by. There we are then. That's the other side of the chops, all um, spiced and whatevered. Well, that didn't take long to get it boiling. Let me tell you, I've steamed up my lens now. <laughs> I say. Right then, the potatoes are cooked, but I'm going to give them a browning off in the Ridge Monkey. We've got some beans going on here. And we've got the Ridge Monkey now on the gas stove. There's a lot of um, liquid, so I've learned something today. I need to drain the liquid. That was with me turning it over. But I know what we're doing now. And they're starting to look quite fabulous. Look, should we have a little look? Try and be as careful as I can. They're looking good, aren't they? Woohoo, I say! Well, look at this. I put the potatoes in here just to finish them off. Look at that, I say. Look at that. I'm a proper top shelf myself, I tell you. Bye. Didn't he do well? <laughs> well, there you go. So you can cook chops, beans and um, potatoes outside. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Hello. Come on, let's be honest. For a gnome, not knowing what the hell he was doing. That wasn't a bad dinner, was it? It was, it was lovely. There was a little bit too much cayenne pepper too much in it. Cayenne pepper, I'll tell you, you what. You always overdo it with the um, seasoning. We're going to be shitting through the eye of a needle tomorrow. <laughs> I've left Hector a bit, nothing with the, the with the cayenne pepper in it, but he's got a bit of potato and a bit of beans. But uh, seriously, though. It's all 
potatoes, very nice potatoes. Well, you shocked a little bit, Lee. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you said you wouldn't be able to do the pork bollocks of cocks, but didn't you? No, I didn't say you wouldn't be able to do it. But... See, she says that. And then she said you can't no. do them. In the... Yes, she did. She <laughs> says you can't do them in the monkey pox. For one, she said they wouldn't fit. They did. Then she <laughs> said they'll cook too fast. They didn't. And I cooked them well. So she can't be saying that. Are you playing sodju too? <laughs> Whatever it's called. Sodoku. <laughs> it's a bit complicated that for a Sunday evening. <laughs> it's not. It is for me. <laughs> Happy Mondays everyone. I'll tell you, I was in a bit of a quandary, you see. So I didn't know whether to keep the beard or not because I just had a shower and uh, it always itches when it gets to this point and I thought well I've compromised and I've cut all this bit off and just left that bit what do you reckon I don't know whether to keep it or not uh, like I say it'll take me another year to grow it into anything substantial anyway but so what's going on today Lee's um, doing some typing for me because we do these record artwork things for people and it's like song lyrics that go round and round in a circle and it made to look like a, an old Vinyl record, I say. I'll put one of them up on screen in a minute. But anyway, the text, because there's one bits that have got to be bold, bits that have got to be this, that and the other. I thought, Lee, it's better you've done it, because she got the brief for it. So Lee's typing it, and then I'll just make it work in the artwork to make it go swirly. You'll see what I mean. So that's what we're doing at the moment. I was going to have a cup of tea outside, but it started to rain, and now it's stopped. But it'll probably start again. And um, not a lot of work coming first thing this morning. It's always like this on a Monday. Uh, I had a couple of ones. Uh, both jobs that I got this morning come through are both wrong anyway. So the artwork that I was given um, was wrong. <laughs> sometimes uh, sometimes we've got a whole day with people just sending shit to us, to be honest with you, because people are retarded. Or they try and do it in Word. <laughs> What's a word processor? Some shitty PC thing. So yeah, sometimes we end up redoing that for them. But of course we have to charge, so that doesn't matter. Apart from that, I don't know what else we're doing. What are you doing today, Lee Lawson? She's over there. Wholesalers. She's going to buy some holes. She said she's going to the wholesaler. I don't know why she keeps buying these holes, because I keep falling into them. It's all too much. A little joke there from Monday morning. Yeah, she's, yeah is it VAT free day or something? It is. At Auntie Sally's? No, it's not Auntie Sally's. It's Aston and Fincher. Aston and Fincher, because obviously you can't hear her, because she ain't as loud as me. She's a lot more polite than me. I'm just a, a gob on a stick. So yeah, she's got to do that, because it saves quite a lot of money, that does, doesn't it? 20% off, so she's got restocking her uh, products and all that sort of thing. And um, I guess that's about it. Anything else, Lee? Uh, I'm going to go to Storage because that's in the next road to Aston and Fincher, so she'll go and have another bit of a sort out for a couple of hours no, if she's, I actually get there. She's going to go, I don't know if you heard that, she's going to sort storage because we've got so much shit in storage. Let me tell you, most of it's Lee's. <gasps> it is. It's, and it's, it's stuff. The thing is, right, because we've been here, we've been on the boat now, living on the boat for what, three and a half years, is it, Lee? Four and a half years. Four and a half years, bloody hell. <laughs> and we've had a storage unit that costs us 100 quid a month. And it just keeps getting fuller and fuller and fuller. And the thing is, if you ain't used it in four years, well, you ain't going to use it, are you? Pretty much. So, we need a big boat boot sail. <laughs> That's it, bye. Lee? Yeah. Lee? Yeah. Lee? Yeah. Have you just dropped all your VAT-free <laughs> things on the floor, Lee? Indeed. That rhymed, didn't it? <laughs> oh, I should be Poet Laureate, I reckon. Anyway, what are you doing? I was just looking at my invoice and then I've realised I bought the wrong bleach. Like a dickhead. See, Lee uses some harsh language sometimes, doesn't he? Lee, I, I, I um, you know the sink where the thing come out of? Oh, yeah. Um, I fixed it. Oh, well done. Yeah, but have a guess what with. I'll just put gaffer tape over it. Because gaffer tape fixes everything. <laughs> well, that's going to look attractive then, isn't it? That's a great big blob, blob of, black, uh, of duct tape. Gorilla tape. There's nothing wrong with that. Splendid. Well, I just, I was noticing, to be honest with you, because I know we're going to fix it properly. But then when I was um, shaving, I could see drips were still oh, no, hitting yeah. it. So no, I thought, well, there is stuff going behind there. So let's just seal it for now until we uh, sort it out properly. Anyway, so you've got lots of wares. And there's a dodgy old geezer walking past. Fucking hell. Enjoy your little holiday. <laughs> You'll be lovely and comfortable now. But even more exciting than Lee's wears, 
Is Lee, there's a national shortage of old goblin, isn't there? there is. Bookers. <laughs> I'm happy that's at least two nights worth. <laughs> hey, bye. Is so there anything else to say? I said bye well, maybe early. I know the uh, mystery of the 16 jerry cans. Come on then. They, their boat went in for blacking and when it was put back in the water all the diesel ended up in the bilge. <gasps> They're not taking responsibility down at the marina. They're having nothing to do with it so they've let him siphon it all off himself. That's well, why he's got... How did the diesel get into his bilge? I don't know. And he just went in for blacking? Yes. Well, it can't have been anything to well, do with no, the blacking, but, can it? You know. But then they're not being helpful anyway. Or maybe it's for the same to do with being know. lifted and... I don't know, but they've, they've just said, oh, we're, we're too busy because we've got the hire fleet. So he's been hand siphoning out of his bilge. Wow, that shocks me. That's why he's got 16 jerry cans outside his boat. Yeah, and he's been going past a few times today. And I mm. thought, what the hell was that noise? I saw a look on the old security camera because I'm nosy. And it was in with his jerry cans. I thought, bloody hell, what on earth is he transporting mm. in, the, in those? Mm. So that's obviously what it is then. So I wonder where he's been at, where he's got to put the fuel. I don't know. Probably they must be letting him use the waste fuel bit down there because obviously yeah, he's well, taking it down there because mm. you can't just bung that in the canal. No. Anyway, that's yeah. that then. Anyway, we've learned. We've learned all mm -hmm. we know now. We've got some nice soft toilet paper. Excellent. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's, it's like sandpaper. Let me tell you. Yeah, that was Lidl. got an arse like a blood I used orange. I and it was nice, but I don't know. It's obviously not nice now. No, it's cheap so as shit. Not, not, it's like what, what, half what, what, ply. Half ply. That's it then. Is it? Okay, it's not yet. All right then. Bye. Say bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. We're getting rat cam out again as well, aren't we, Lee? I've had yeah. to swap some memory cards around because and we nicked this for something else because Lee Lee kicked one of my security cameras into the water and it had a 128 <laughs> um, gig card in it. Did you try and get it out? I know you did, but yeah, but the card would have been dead anyway, yeah. even if the camera's water But anyway, we're getting rat cam out again tonight because there is some rat action again. We don't know how much, but Hector's going a bit mental for over there at the moment. So we'll have a play with that. Bye. If Colesberg made mighty hounds, well, you know the rest. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing, do we, Lee? We're pressing all these buttons because um, now we've got Filmic Pro work. I know this is bollocks, but now we've got a different program working, which I prefer to record in. We've got the gimbal back on and we've got the light on it and all that sort of stuff. It's very confusing. We've been pressing loads of buttons. But anyway... I think we're getting towards the, the end of this vlog because um, I think 20 minutes is the sweet spot rather than half an hour, to be fair, don't you, Lee? There's only so much of your waffling. Well, that's exactly what I understand. I do understand. I mean, you can probably put up me for 10, 20 minutes, but once you get past it, think, oh, for flipping heck's sake, I wish that <laughs> gobshite would shut the flipping heck up. You know I want to say fuck up, don't you? But I can't Talk help it sometimes. Language, Timothy. Timothy? Anyway, I, I would like to just say something. Actually, I'd like to say thank you to all you lovely people who are watching us. I'd like to say an even bigger thank you to those people who actually subscribe and press the bell in the bollocks. So, you are beautiful people. And I'd like to say even more thank more? you for all those people who support us on Buy Me A Coffee. Now, I know we, we, t we don't talk about Buy Me A Coffee much, but you get loads of shit on there for nothing. It's just another kind of social media. Yes, you can donate. I don't, it doesn't matter whether you do or not. It does help us. And that's all I'm going to say on that because I don't want to be sitting there going, hey, give me some money because that's not what it is. But I do like to give you some music and all that sort of shit and you can get that on there. And I've got some more plans for that. But what else is there? I can't remember what else I was going to say now. There's something else important that I forgot to say. But it's all too much. Anyway, we have got Rat Cam on. <laughs> Lee, you can talk. And we have had some lovely comments, actually. We have had some beautiful comments. Lee doesn't look at them enough. But we had, I can't remember there, but some, some people have been so kind to us, some of the nice things they say saying uh, they like to see real people and all that sort of stuff and i think that's nice that that warms my heart does it yours lee indeed yes <laughs> it, it, honestly it does warm my heart it makes it worth it to be honest because i know i talk a load of old bollocks sometimes and we now now know that because i said let's stop this at 20 minutes because i'm waffling it's going to be 30 minutes <laughs> just as normal because i can't help speaking shit, to be honest <laughs> lee let me ask you something all right you know i'm quite patriotic and i you are Am I? You know I am, aren't I? Yeah. I am proper patriotic. I remember when I used to watch some of the England games and when I saw some of the players not singing God Save the Queen, I think they deserved a slap, right? Have some bloody respect. But now things are changing. 
and we've got old Mr. Weff Puppet and Mr. Charlie Charles. By the way, I don't think they're going to replace all the notes. Let me tell you, they're not going to replace all, all the notes anymore because most... Well, I'm just telling you, right, because most of those bloody notes have had Charlie on already, haven't they? So you don't need to put Charlie on them again. Little joke there to brighten up your whatever day it is. Where was I? What was I talking about, Lee? I don't know. The, the national anthem, right? Now they're going to have to be singing, God save the king, send him victory. No, bollocks to that. I don't want any more of that. Shall I tell you why? Now, let me tell you why. I think now it is a golden opportunity to change the national anthem. What's the best national anthem in the world, Lee? I don't know. Oh, come on, you know. What's the most fun one to sing? Fun one. Italian. It is, isn't it? <laughs> da, 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 da. That's just, can't we just have a new national anthem? It's a bit more jolly. <laughs> jolly. What do you reckon? <laughs> I think that's it for this week. Are you, are you going to say bye? Because <laughs> I really bye. need a wee. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your the rest of the week, rest of the weekend, whenever you're watching this. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'm excited because Steve Duff is coming this this weekend. Bye. <laughs> I keep looking over there when I should be looking there. Yeah, and I you got a light. It's all I too much. Bye. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Make sure you tune in to the next one because we'll see what we get on Rat Cam. Because we've got it all set up tonight. Bye.